Right, just a couple of days ago there's been a new firmware update for the DJI Pocket 3 and the main reason what's attracted me to update this is basically the gimbal modes. Now this is before the update, you just get three gimbal modes which is follow, tilt locked and FPV. And as you can see the screen's blank next to the FPV. Now on the new update we get FPV lock. So I'm just going to update the camera and then we'll get straight into it. Here we go. Now as soon as you launch the Mimo app you're going to get a prompt there for the new firmware available so you just tap the orange box there and straight away it'll get straight into downloading the new firmware also with a new update there's four other features number one will be 4k live streaming with active track and the dji mic will be compatible with this also number two is auto power off you'll be able to select never number three is the wearable mode It'll turn off automatically in five seconds. And the number four is optimized auto focus update. So today I'll be concentrating on the FPV lock update as that's the one that interests me the most. Now, as you can see, the new firmware is updated. So just tap done. Now it's gonna search for your Pocket 3. So now let's get back onto the Pocket 3 and find the new gimbal mode. Now the Pockets 3 updated to the latest firmware, let's find the new gimbal mode. So you just swipe down in the bottom right, and as you can see, there's now four options. You've got your FPV lock. So the first one on the gimbal mode is follow, and this follow mode is suitable for most scenarios, including vlogs or selfie videos. So the next one on the gimbal mode is called tilt lock. Now in tilt lock, the horizon line is always level, which is suitable for most scenarios with camera movements such as push in, pull out and pans. Now the next one across is FPV mode. Now in FPV mode, the camera rotates freely and follows the device movement, which is suitable for creative shots. And now this is the new one, the FPV lock. Now in FPV lock, the camera always keeps the same direction with a touchscreen, suitable for quickly capturing subjects directly facing the touchscreen. Now this new FPV lock mode is going to be good for catching fast moving subjects as well. And now I'm going to do a few demonstrations on each of these modes for you so you can see what they do. Here we go. So this is just a quick demonstration on each gimbal mode as you'll see the screen in front of you now. So on the follow mode, you'll be able to pan up and down as you can see. your left and right pan and then on your rotation the horizon is going to stay horizontal so the next one across there is tilt locked and this is the one I use quite often as you can get really creative with this one again it's same on the panning motions left and right the gimbal is going to follow this is where the horizon is going to stay level again as you can see but where it differs here is as you lay it down the gimbal's not going to follow it's going to keep the horizon level and this is great for all types of creative shots the gimbal's always going to be facing forward there right the next one across on the list is called FPV and this will be the least restricted one as it unlocks all the axes. And now in this mode, you'll be able to rotate the pan left and right, just like before. Also the up and down motion. But now the horizon won't be horizontal. So that's the difference to the other two modes. The gimbal's unlocked on all axes. Now with the new update, this FPV lock mode. Now this states the camera always keeps the same direction with the touchscreen, suitable for quickly capturing subjects directly facing the touchscreen. So basically it's gonna keep the camera perpendicular with the touchscreen at 90 degrees, no matter where you rotate it. So it is very similar to the FPV. It just differs slightly 
So this is quite interesting. This is going to be great for fast moving subjects. It kind of catches up with the camera movement a lot swifter than the FPV and the other modes. It's almost like it's in a fixed position. And then your rotation, again, is going to be like the original FPV. But how this differs from the normal FPV mode is it's basically going to be a lot swifter to catch up with a subject. As you can see from the camera, it's a lot sharper. So while I'm on the gimbal modes, I'll just show you that there's some rotational speeds here. You click the little man there and you've got your rotational speeds. First option there is slow. The gimbal's going to move slowly to take smoother shots. Now you can set it to default. The gimbal is going to move at a moderate speed, which is suitable for most scenarios. And the last option there is fast. Now this makes the gimbal move abruptly and creates screen shake effect, which is suitable for capturing fast moving subjects. And while I'm on the gimbal modes, no matter which mode you're in, whether it be follow, tilt locked, FPV or FPV lock, if you hold down the 5D button, it's going to lock the camera in position. So no matter if you pan the camera, rotate the camera, or tilt the camera, it's always going to stay locked. This is going to be great if you want to focus on a subject. Right, that brings me to the end of the video. So I'm hoping this new firmware update on the gimbal modes here is going to be helpful for you. And I've explained them as best I can for you and a little demonstration on there. So until next time, thanks for watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bye for now.